It's something and it's a place that God has you, a place of reference and reflection and study and consecration. And God has placed this word upon my heart some few months ago and I briefly touched on it at, for those who are here for the CFO Thanksgiving service. And the word that God was dealing with me on was unity of the brethren. Amen. Unity of the brethren. Amen. And we'll be coming from Psalm 133. Psalm 133, thank you, Jesus. Unity of the brethren. We need to understand in these last and evil days that the enemy is attacking the brother. He's attacking the sisterhood. He's attacking the mothers. And he's definitely attacking the children. And God was really dealing with me how in these last and evil days, if we're not careful, Individuals may be lost because there's no unity on the ground. I cannot love God whom I don't see. I can't love him if I hate my brother who I do see. Some of us who are young need to take account. There needs to be unity amongst the brethren. Because if not, we will be lost as young people. And the word of God is heavy upon my heart this morning from things that you hear and see. But as we all know, our pastor tells us, don't let what you hear and don't let what you see change what you know. I've had to go through a lot, sir. A lot of growing up in the spirit. A lot of growing up in the mind. And there were some childish things in the spirit that had to be put away. For instance, I don't feel like and I don't want to do what God tells you. Because if I continue in that attitude, I am not part of the unity of the world. Come on now. Right. And I will pray, Lord, will I be conscious of the time? I know we have communion. Right. But in the time when the spirit of Laodicea is in the world today, yeah. we really need to take heed that our garments are washed in light. Yeah. And it's a soul-searching and honest thing to look in the mirror and stay there for a long time. And to see what is it in me that does not reflect Christ. And what is it that's in me that's hindering the brethren. I'm told by the word of God I should not be a stumbling block or put a stumbling block for my brothers and my sisters. Now David was a man who understood the need for unity because he came up at a time when God had anointed him and the previous leader was not walking right before God because of his own personal issues. And David was a man who was used to fleeing from his own. He knew how to deal with the Philistines and those who were on the outskirts, but his own people, he had a hard time with. Yeah. It's a dreadful thing to know that there's civil war in the house of God. Yes, yes. And that there's no unity of the brother. This country alone knows about the Civil War and what it did to this country. Yeah. And to date, it still records the highest casualties of any war that America has ever been involved in. Right. There's something about infighting that causes so much destruction. Yeah. It's a point that even Satan knows okay. that it's dangerous. Well, how do you say that? Jesus said, if I cast out devils by his Beelzebub. Right. In other words, if I cast out Satan, cast out Satan, his kingdom can't stand. So even our enemy knows the danger right. of infight. Yeah. So how much more we as the children of light need to understand we need to have unity of the devil? Right. 
And David, I believe, was pondering on this. And as it's recorded here in our Bibles in Psalm 133, he says, Behold, or look, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then he compares it. He said, it's like the precious ointment upon the head. In other words, it's like an anointing of God yeah. upon the church of the living God. That not only does it touch your head, but it runs down your face and it runs down into your cheeks. And it even goes down into your clothes, into your other garments. Yeah. Yeah. Down to your shoes. Yeah. I need full and complete anointing in my life. Yes. Yes. If I'm to do anything. Yes. Without Christ, I can't do anything. And if the church is not united in Jesus, we can't do anything. We are in a warfare. And those of us who have known this way, the young people need help yeah. in the war. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We need help. But we can't see help from instructors who fight each other. Come on now. Come on now. I'm confused at what I see sometimes. Come on now. And I have to keep my eyes closed a lot of times. Lord, help me. Yes, yes, yes. To hear and to see thee. Yes. Amen. We need help this morning. Yes. Yes. Unity yes. of the spirit. Yes. He says it's as the dew of her. Yes. And as the dew that descended upon the mounts of Zion. Because Zion is very significant because the word of God says that's where God declared the blessing of eternal life. All right. There's something about the people of God coming together in unity. Yes, yes. The anointing of God magnifies when the people of God come together. Yes, yes. But only in love. Yes. Because love will allow you to be chastised and corrected. Come on. Yes. Come on. Come on. Love will allow you to care for your brother and sister. Yes. Even though they can't stand the way you look. Right. Yeah. Come on now. If I have to be like Jesus, yeah. right. I must learn how to suffer for him. Yeah. 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 I haven't obtained that place yet. Yes. But I'm learning to right. yeah. To forget, to forget those things that are behind me. Yeah. 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 Some shortcomings behind. Yes, yes, yes. But I have to press. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Right. To be in the place yes. Yes. 
so that when he's dealing with God, those of us who are servants can serve the people. Yeah. Yeah. In the sixth chapter of Acts, it's not meant for pastor to do this. Jesus. Look at now. Look at now. Look at now. It's not for me yeah. as a follower. Come on now. Yes. He has to give him time. He has to give his time to fasting and prayer yes. and to yes. preaching the word. Yes. That's his duty. Yes. And we have to learn to obey the commandments of God. Amen. 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 <sighs> Starting from your head down to your neck. It then continues to your torso. So I first acknowledge God, but now I have to have a change of heart. Yeah. 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 And a change of spirit. Yeah. And it's continuous. Peter had the three graces, but he still had some bigotry issues. There's still some issues. And Stephen says, the reason why you don't obey, you resist the Holy Ghost. You resist him. So I looked at this and said, Lord, have mercy upon my soul. And I give it as I receive it. Yes. I prayed to God, Lord, if it's not your will for me to be here, move, make provision, because God will do that. Yes, yeah. Lord. Because yeah. I recall in the fifth chapter of Acts how God is a killer. Yeah. We forget to add that to his name. El Shaddai and Prince of Peace and Lord of Lords, but we forgot killer. And it causes me to fear God. Yes, yes. Especially when I make mistakes. Yes, yes. And the fact that he's willing to forgive me caused me to fear even more. Yes, yes. And to always check to yes. see where I line up. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. It moves to your loins. All right. Down to your feet. Yes. David says, it's like the dual permit. Mount Hermon is a great place of significance in Israel. It's a mountain that stands 9,230 feet high. Wow. Right. There have been recorded of more than 20 temples carved into the midst of the mountain and around about the base of the vicinity. Right. It's also known for the snow caps. And it's something about when the sun's rays hit the frozen ground of Mount Hermon, the dew begins to become released upon the earth. So David said, it's as the dew of Hermon, and just like the Spirit of God, we need another touch of the fire of God yeah. to release a fresh yeah. 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 Because this cycle happens daily. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why I need to be renewed in the Holy Ghost daily. Daily renew myself. Yes, yes. Because the word of God says the righteous will scarcely, scarcely make it. And I have to be careful as I stand before you to make sure I'm in a place and I have received my correction. And that I'm united with the brethren. Because nobody wants to go before God and have rain. Look out. Look out. So I'm learning, even though I feel uncomfortable, yes. I must be obedient. Yes. 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 Sometimes I despise my own youth, but I must be obedient to the Spirit of God. Yes. If not, my child will suffer. Yes. Yes. My wife will suffer. The church will suffer. Yes. All right. So I'm learning to humble myself. Yes. 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 And to have a face of flint because yes. I have to learn not to hear emotions, yeah. but to hear the Spirit of God. Yes. Yes. Look at that, Just like Mount Zion, God begins to command blessings and fresh anointing. Yes. If we're in the unity of the Spirit, His hand is moved in our favor. Yes. When we get together in holiness, things truly begin to happen in the Spirit. Yes. Yes. Acts says, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, mm -hmm. yeah. and sometimes our days haven't fully come yet. Yeah. 
We've heard about it. Yes. We've tarried for it. Yes. But it's not fully in you. Amen. So I have to wait. Yes. Yes. I have to wait on my deliverance. Good God, God. And wait on my ministry. Yes. 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 But while I wait, I must study. Yes. I must pray. Yes. And I must clean myself. Yes. 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 The reason why the day of Pentecost fully came mainly because of prophecy, but they were of one accord. Yes. 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 The, 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 the Holy Ghost comes when we're on one accord. Yes. 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 He comes individually, yes, but yes. it's something about coming together. Yes. Yes. And the anointing movie where nobody can preach. Yes. Yes. Nobody can teach. Yes. The ushers can't guide nobody. The children don't cry because the Holy Ghost is speaking. Let the earth be still. God has come into his temple and he doesn't want to hear my mess. I have to have unity. Suddenly, once I got my eyes together, a sound came down us from out of heaven. Yes. As of a rushing mighty wind, and yeah. it filled the house where they were sitting. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. And there appeared, it looked like tongues of a on the fire. And they began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave it to them. Yeah. Not by flesh or my knowledge yeah. of the Spirit. Yeah. As the Spirit moves me. Yes. Yes. And if I want to be united with the Spirit of God, yes. Yes. I yield myself to you. Because yes. one thing about the Spirit, the Father, and the Son, they don't disagree. When Jesus whooped them out of the temple for exchanging money, God was in agreement and the Spirit of God was in agreement. Yes. When the Spirit of God confirms His word, God's in agreement, yeah. and Jesus is in agreement. Yeah. Yeah. All right. He doesn't need my permission. Yeah. All right. What am I but dust before God? Yeah. Yeah. They were filled with the Holy Ghost, and they began to speak with these tongues. And even to the unbeliever, they couldn't understand, but they felt the power, because they said, aren't these... Uh, are these not Galileans? <laughs> it just put your folk down from Rossbury. Uh -huh. <laughs> we know how they act up and they can't take care of themselves. Uh -huh. What is this? Yeah. <laughs> and how we hear every man in our own tongue. Uh -huh. That's what the Spirit of God does, because the Spirit of God cut the tongues of some in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Look at that. Yeah. All right. So I give you a tongue to speak, my Lord. Yeah, yeah. So they were from the Peripheans and the Medes, the Elamites, the dwellers of Mesopotamia, and all to Judea and Cappadocia and Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia and Egypt, and in the parts of Libya. Y'all know Solomon Gaddafi. His land was preached to. They have no excuse. Yeah. About Shaggy and the strangers of Rome and the Jews and the proselytes. The Cretes and the Arabs. No excuse. No excuse. We are without any excuse of not having unity of the world. Amen. Some see his works in the land. Yes. Some see his works in the sea. Yes. Some see his works in the heavens. Yes. All right. And some see his works in you and me. Right. Right. People will not believe until they see the change in us. What makes the church different from a clubhouse? What makes the Bible different from any other text? Where is the anointing in my life? Hard questions. Where do I stand? That's the one time.
am I know you can be selfish is for your own salvation. Apollo 8 was one of 12 lunar missions, as we know. Something significant about this crew. When they completed their orbit around the moon, and they began to come back to Earth, and they saw the beauty that God had created. Yes. They couldn't help but go back to the Word of God. Yes. Yes. All right. come on. And over their radio waves that went thousands of miles between Luna and Terra Firma. All right. come on. They said, in the beginning, God created the heaven yes. Yes. and the earth. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. 
wait till family, work, church, others, and selves have to fall off. Yes, yes. Glory, hallelujah. David said, How pleasant when you see the Spirit of God moving. Yes. It's something to behold. Yes, it is. Yes. It's a sight when the people of God come together in Paul and Silas found themselves in trouble. Yes. For preaching the word of God. God delivered them by a mighty hand. They were insulted. They were kicked out for the glory of God. They came back and told the church. You wouldn't believe the great things God has done. And after the church had heard the good report, when you hear about somebody being saved in the battle, yeah. Yeah. when you hear about someone being delivered of yeah. something yeah. that man could not do, yeah. and they say the power of God came down from heaven and met me at my knees. Yes. The word of God says suddenly there was a great earthquake and that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were open and every man's bonds were loosed and the keeper of the prison woke out of his sleep seeing the prison doors open and drew his sword. He was going to kill himself. Yes. That's Roman authority. Yeah. Yeah. That's Roman might. Kill yourself. Yeah. Do thyself no harm. Right. That's the mercy of God. Yeah. That's the gift of God. Yeah. Yeah. Paul cried. We have to cry for these people. Yeah. And brought them out and said, Sirs, this is the prison, this is the jail now. When he saw the power of God now, nobody left. What must I do to be saved? Isn't that just like somebody who's, when they, uh, God has done with them in their heart and they come to you, what must I do? Yeah. What do I do? Yes. Yeah. Sweet as lamb. They were raving wolves one moment, but when God lit them with unity, yes, yes, yes. what more can I do? Thank you, Lord. The man took him home and washed his wounds. Just got finished beating them, but washed their wounds. <laughs> and set them on their way. Crazy. Peter and John also found out what was going on. They also turned the report back to the church. When they heard the victory of God, the word of God says. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God, all of them, with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, declare who he is. Yes. Yes. Any man who comes to God must believe he is him, yes. Yes. All right. which has made heaven and earth and the sea and all that there is, yes. who by the mouth of thy servant David has said, why did the heathen rage and the people imagine me? Why should I imagine something vain in this mouth, brother and Every imagination that exalts itself above the knowledge of God, it must be cast down. What do I imagine against you? What do we imagine against each other? The Word of God tells me the Spirit knows the thoughts and searches. What is in there? What is it? They told the important point. The kings of the earth stood up and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. Antichrist people. For of the truth against the holy child, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Yes. Who now has anointed both Herod and Pontius Pilate with the Gentiles and the people of Israel were gathered together. It seems like everybody's against you. <laughs> For to do whatsoever thy hand and thy counsel determined before the, to be done. And now, Lord, behold their threatening. Sometimes you got to tell the Lord, look at this. Yeah, that's right. yeah. Them false accusers. Yeah. Lord, look at what they're trying to do to us. Yeah. Look at what the enemy's trying to do to us. Yeah. By stretching forth thy hand to heal. Mm -hmm. And when they had prayed, when they had prayed, mm -hmm. the place was shaken where they were assembled, where? Together. Yeah. Yeah. Unity of the brother. Yes. What hinders us? What is it? Paul said, oh foolish Galatians, what kind of spell? What kind of witchcraft would prevail in the church of the living God? It was shaken together and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and spake the word of God with boldness. Elders, you must realize that you are the great materials of the future saints. Your position here is vital and it's key for us. 
You're our lifeline. When God is preparing you to go home, gather us together. Yes. Gather us together. Yes. Yes, because your spiritual wisdom is needed. Amen. 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 Jacob, when he was about to die, All right. Bring my son. Yes, yes. Bring my grandson. Yes. Mm -hmm. Paul told Timothy, mm -hmm. if you're going to come, come quickly. Yes. Bring my cloak and don't forget the paper and parchment. Mm -hmm. I have some more things that you need to know in the spirit. That's right. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Isaac and Jacob. David and Solomon. And Solomon attributed most of the Proverbs to what his father taught him. Mm -hmm. All right. And Peter, and we know who he was, what kind of character he was, but in the end, mm -hmm. remember Christ said, feed my sheep? Yes. When he was coming to the point of being crucified, he told the church, look, in my departure, grievous wolves are coming in. Yes. And some of them are weak. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Unity of the brethren. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. This is the type of thing that you teach and you preach. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You chew and then you gotta swallow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where are the wolves? Mm -hmm. Where are the wolves? Mm -hmm. I can't fight you. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. And let Satan run rampant against my brother and sister. Mm -hmm. Because somebody's gonna be a casualty. Mm -hmm. yeah. If my people who are called by my name would humble themselves. Yes. You first humble because you first need to realize that I need to go before God. Yeah, all right. Then I pray and I seek his face until he says it's enough. Yes, and then I turn from my wicked ways. Only then will God hear from him. Mm -hmm. Ecclesiastes said that two are better than one, so we need to come together. Yes. Because they have a good reward of their labor. When you and I work together, we create good things before the uh, uh, face of God. For if one of us fall or if we stumble, one will lift him up. Yeah. Yeah. But if somebody is alone, how can they receive help? Mm -hmm. We should not have cliques in the church. Yeah. This is heavy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we shouldn't have cliques in the church. It was right after communion, hope that the disciples began to fight over who was the priest. They just got finished taking communion. What spirit? What spirit are we of? Lord, right. Paul told the church at Corinth, "Don't you know your baby still? Because you still fight over whose ministry you are." My God, help you. If two lie together, they have some heat. Mm -hmm. All right. But if one's alone, they will freeze to death. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. yes. Sometimes when you're going through your trials and tribulations, God has to send an angel. Mm -hmm. All right, now. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Sometimes when the church is going through, he sends somebody from the outside. Yes. Right. yes. Because there's objectivity. Yes. All right. mm -hmm. And you see things as they are, and you deliver it. Yes. All right. All right. Sometimes all it takes is a touch. Yes. And sometimes we need quiet atmosphere. Yes. 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 Right. What is the Spirit saying to me? What is it saying to the church? One thing I realized when Samson had, he had fallen mm -hmm. and he was blinded. Once he came back to his senses, he says, Lord, I pray, strengthen me. Yes. Only this one. Sometimes we need to do one more touch. Lord. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Lord, just one more touch. Just one more chance. Yes. 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 One more opportunity yes. to get it right. Yes. Yes. Thank you. That I may have victory over sin. Yes. Because we war not. We war not against flesh and blood. See, you are not the physical outpiers. That body is a vessel that was prepared to operate on the earth. All right, man. The fact that we're male and female is only temporary. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's right. only for the reproduction upon the earth. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go 
everything we hold dear in our society is temporal. Yes. Yes. The United States will end. Mm -hmm. The Soviet Union will end. Yes. Australia will end. Yes. The very fact that there are seas and oceans on the earth, that concept will end. Mm -hmm. So what are we fighting over here? I'm supposed to be laying up treasures in heaven. Amen. Yeah. upon the earth. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's the still small voice. Mm -hmm. We heard the thunders and the lightnings and the earthquake and the whirlwinds, but the still small voice. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? The last thing Job, God told Job to show him how powerful he was and who he was. Right. Job brought him back down to, uh, God brought Job back down to the sea. And he asked him a question. He says, can you draw out Leviathan with a hook? The Leviathan was a creature of light in the sea. Yeah. And we've heard all these strange sea monster stories, but don't mock. This chapter in Job, you can see where some of these guys got thunders and dragons. Let me show you. He says, His tongue is with a cord with that let us down. Can't thou put a hook in his nose or bore his jaw through with a thorn? Otherwise, can you fish after this creature? Like you do with the fish? Mm. Will he make any supplication with thee? If you come and approach him in his own territory, you think he's going to bow down to you? Mm. No. These are questions God asks. Yes. <laughs> Will he speak soft words like, oh, come on, come on, no, uh, you know. <laughs> God was being serious. Yes. 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 Will he make a covenant with thee that I'll never attack you again or attack your people again? Will thou take him for a servant or will you tame him? Will thou play with him as you would a bird or a dog? This was a creation of God. Mm -hmm. right. Will thou bind him for thy names or bring him home for the lady? Look what I got. Talk about a fish store. <coughs> Shall the commanders make a banquet of him? Shall you divide him asunder and show him amongst your friends or take him to the market? Canst thou fill his skin with barbed eyes? This, this creature, this Leviathan that God created, his skin was so powerful, yeah. nothing could penetrate. All right, its scales were so knit together mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> that air couldn't pass through. Right. All right, now. now, if God can make a creature this way, yeah. what about us who are sons and daughters of God? When nothing can penetrate oh, our seams. God told Job, take your hand and lay it upon him. Touch him. And remember the fact, remember how much trouble you got for touching the creature. And do it no more. All right. Behold, the hope of him is in vain. There's no hope against this creature, God said. Shall not one be cast down even at the sight of him? When you look and see this creature, you'll faint. Because of its power and its glory. And it's fierceness and it's animosity. God says there is none so fierce that dare stir him up. And God says, who is there able to stand before me? If God made the creature and told us to wonder after it, how much more the king of heaven who sits on the earth? Swear not by heaven because his throne that means heaven supports God. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And his feet, you don't realize, but his heels are upon earth right now. Yeah. God is so holy that angels can't even look upon him. All right. My God. All right. All right. All right. That's why John the Revelator was so distraught in his spirit. You mean to tell me there's nobody worthy to take the book out of the this is how desperate the gospel is. Mm -hmm. And then we have to be in unity because even angels know what it is. Yes. To have discord. Mm -hmm. All these visions of lives are had. Daniel saw all these great creatures. Yes. The four living creatures. The seraphims, the cherubims, the elders. You mean to tell me nobody? Nobody. Mm -hmm. As mad, as full of majesty as they were. Even Michael 
the archangel couldn't even take the book out of his hand. Because angels know what it is to be tempted. That's why we have to come together in unity of the brethren to be back. Yeah. 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 And it's only together can we do that and receive help. Yes. As you read this chapter, you see how God talks about his terrible teeth. He also was able to breathe fire. That sounds like fantasy, but God says, I created this creature. This creature was able to breathe fire, and the fire was so hot off the thing's breath, it was able to kindle coals. He was able to put on flame pure carbon. That's right. I love the tissue of this animal's heart yes. was so strong it was as stone. Yes. This is God's power. All right. No spear or sword or arrow could pierce the skin, my God. And we think our tanks of armor or something. All right. He was able to break bars like you and I would tear upon the earth. Men feared this creature. Yes. How much more should you and I fear God? Yeah. Amen. How much more fearful should I be when I think I fought against you? Yes. yes. How? How much more? Everything is going to be brought into judgment, and that's what really gets to me. God did some horrible stuff. It's quiet to sink in. I know. We will all stand before God. Yes. Amen. Yes. Every day, whether it be good or evil, yes, Lord. we have to do it. And God will just ask us why. He asked Job, when God finally spoke up, he said, I want you to stand up and answer me like a man. For the king of heaven, will shake the ground for us if we have unity of breath. And if we dwell in unity of his spirit, his glory will truly be made manifest upon the earth. To God be the glory. God bless you. Uh, praise God. This is Pastor Watkins from Community Revival and Outreach Ministries. I trust that you enjoyed that wonderful service we just uh, had, and I trust the Lord that it touched your heart and your spirit, and it also inspired your soul. But beyond just listening to a message, we also ask you to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And how you do that, you just simply ask and bow before Christ. And if you're willing to lay hands upon your TV or bow your heads right where you are or sitting, if you just bow your head with me and we'll pray the prayer of faith. Heavenly Father, we truly thank you for all things in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That you forgive us of all our sins and have mercy upon our soul. And that not only you save us, O oh Lord, from our sins, but, O oh Lord, that you would sanctify our hearts and sanctify our souls as well as, O oh Lord, baptize us with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. We accept you, O oh Lord, into our hearts and our life. We confess our sins and we believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that God raised him from the dead. And by believing and accepting this, O oh Lord, we claim to be saved in his holy name. We give thanks and praise for all things. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I trust the Lord that your heart is fixed with the Lord and that your blessing will be assured and that you'll come out and fellowship with us. And if not with us, your, your own local church in your area and that God will be a blessing to you until we see you again. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.